Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. Um, yeah, today we're playing the Pest Terminator for the um, Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, I actually have some fond memories of this less than stellar game. And you're like, how can you possibly have fond memories of this game? Well, it's a good question. Um, I used to spend the night at my grandmother's house a lot. Um, just to get away from home, you know. Home wasn't always the best place to hang out. Um, so it was nice to go to my grandmother's house. I, I haven't played this game, like, I mean, I've tried it on and off and be like, oh yeah, I remember that game, but like, there's like a rental store near my grandmother's house and I just remember seeing Pestern and to me it looked like the, the Monopoly guy. I thought it was a game about the Monopoly guy at first. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And for some reason, despite its shittiness and graphics and pretty much everything, I mean, the music is kind of the best thing going for this game. The concept is kind of cool. You have to alleviate all these pests, but it's just a bootleg game. I remember I got it and it was like, I think it was like in a baby blue cartridge. Or something I don't know I thought it was like it had extra power or something it, it actually came with the manual which was extremely rare at the time there's actually a story about this game if there's like a rat from Mars or something I can't remember exactly oh this is one of those games where B is jump to I know that irks people but in Japan like I was saying like a lot of these things are reversed and they just don't change it or some people make these games that don't actually play games. This, I think sometimes that's the case with this. At least I can see the white hearts. I suck if they were like in a white background or something. But anyway, I remember spending the night at my grandmother's house and for some reason, this game appealed to her. I don't know why she's not, she, I mean, she wasn't really good at video games. There's a handful of games I remember playing with my grandmother that I intrigued her. One was the uh, um, virtual racing for the NES. She used to play Fisher Price, perfect fit for me because I mean that's made for little kids. It's like all you had to do is match the toy with the shape. And um, I remember her wanting to play this and we'd go around the house and smash bugs. I think she liked the concept. It wasn't overly violent and she's we used to challenge each other she um got some like good at virtual racing i remember she beat me up a few times which is crazy because she never had a license in real life um and i feel like that's more of a realistic racing game even though it's like an arcade game but compared to the time i'm having mixed feelings about like the the platforming where you can go up and down sometimes it's hard to judge i mean it's hard to judge with these graphics, but my understanding is you just go through every room and kill all the pests with a gigantic hammer, because obviously that is the most practical thing to use in this situation. These are really strong pests. This game is like, I guess the game's concept is kind of funny gosh could you I, I wonder like if this game was like popular like what are the odds that like um organizations like peter or whatever would just attack this weird game because of um cruelty to animals because i mean smashing rats and i don't even know what this is you ever watch like cartoons like where a lot of the bees, like, their stinger is, like, their beak almost. Like, sometimes in cartoons, like, they look like hummingbirds. I think that's what that was supposed to be, our hummingbird. I really can't tell. Like, for instance, these spiders are just, it's just, like, one large block followed by a bunch of tiny blocks. But, you know, it gets, it gets it across. But I remember enjoying this game. I think we actually kept it ex extra days. Just crazy for like a bootleg game. One good thing about like mom and pop rental shops is they they got everything. It's like Blockbuster would get more like the most popular shit. 
or like a mom and pop store like it was more risky because they'll have like these really terribly made like bootleg games but at the same time some of those games were unique you know and they gave you give you a better idea of like the nes's library why am i killing them if they're outside you know that's like their turf i can understand in the house do i gotta smash that effing nest because i don't know how i'm supposed to go about that am i supposed to jump off of the roof and try to hit it what are you made out of Must be one of those new flies with a titanium exoskeleton. <sighs> Is this the theme of an exterminator? <laughs> it almost sounds like triumphant and like it's a hard struggle at the same time. I kind of like it. I would love to see like a Final Fantasy size concert like they do in Japan with a whole symphony orchestra doing like a better version of this song what would be a good title for like the exterminator's name what would be a good so song title life and times of the Pester the pest terminator or maybe just the pest terminator pest terminator i don't know leave your suggested titles in the comments below so if your idea is brilliant i can steal it and then promptly erase it so um you might want to screenshot that shit to cover your ass <laughs> i'm picking at straws here for comedy what do you want me to do It's like these ants had a nervous breakdown. That collision detection. At least they made the effort to make it a hundred points. Um, I can't like just bash this ant hill into the ground. I hate that light switch. Would they build this house in the middle of the fucking Amazon jungle? gonna swing like a wild man because I know you hold grudges and you'll you'll come back my way thank you for the heart I desperately needed it um there's a siren outside if you're wondering what city life <laughs> at least it's not like a small town where it's like somebody you know it kind of sucks like when you live in the suburbs and you you like hear that you know it's more than likely one of your neighbors i remember we had this one um family that lived down the street from us and their um their daughter was like disabled she was like a year older than me but she and i was like 12 13 at the time but she looked like she was nine she couldn't talk or anything but I just remember always seeing the ambulance flying down the street and you're like, oh, I wonder if she's all right. But like in a city like this, it's like God knows what's going on. It's not even a big city, but it's weird. It's like Richmond's a small city, but it kind of acts and functions like a larger city. It's, it's such a contradiction. I've never been to a um, city quite like Richmond. It's weird. It has simultaneously large city vibes and small city vibes at the same time. And it's a relatively small city. But, you know, at the same time, this is where, like, people from France will go and do bicycle races around this area. It's crazy. Like, you wouldn't think that. 
We have so many festivals, so many things going on here. You always have to check for traffic on the weekends, like what's available. Like walking my dog sometimes is like a nightmare just because um, on the weekends there's so many festivals and stuff going on. Like if you're from Richmond, you'll often hear jokes about, or if you live here, you'll often hear jokes about like how many um, unnecessary festivals we have. There's like a festival committee just trying to come up with and make up like things to celebrate. It's like it's national like belt buckle day. Sure, let's celebrate it. Throw some throw some hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill, like an impossible burger for people that don't eat burgers but want to spend a fortune on something that relatively tastes like one. And I'm not making fun of like people who don't eat meat. I'm just like, wow, that, that bird is really expensive. I feel like if I quit meat, I wouldn't want things to remind me of it. He was just kind of blending in. That's why you put outlines around your sprites. I try to do that on my thumbnails just in case the background's too busy. I usually feather the font so it stands out a little bit. Even though I don't have the best thumbnails, there is some thought put into it. I don't know what to do at this point. smash this house where are the effing stairs that's one thing I need to get to the top that's the pause sound I'll be honest with you despite the um Oh, these are the stairs. My whole like, oh, the stairs are right in front of me. It's just the background so noisy. Everything's just like distracting. This is like if somebody that knew nothing about interior design and they and you hired them. This is the result. There was like a room with all these insects that I saw. Like, where the fuck is this shit? Like, how do I get to the basement part? Why is, why is my language so foul? Like, I hear myself, I'm like, holy crap, I got a foul mouth. I should blame it on something to avoid responsibility. Um, honestly, don't know what to do anymore unless I can get to that top part. I wish there was some sort of map, but you know, this is an old ass game. This is back in the day where like they expected you to get grab paper and probably make your own damn map. Even though we had like the ultimate Nintendo's player's guide, I remember my um father drawing maps um for the Legend of Zelda often. It reminded me of um the Grail Diary from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. He was like obsessed with that game. Like I said in previous videos, when I accidentally did not hold the restart button, our friend didn't do it. I can't remember who was responsible, but it deleted his save and so much work he put into that game. He swore off video games forever. The only game I ever saw him play after that was um, when I first got my Secret Genesis. He was really impressed by um even though it wasn't the best game, I mean it was to me because I loved X-Men more than life itself, but at the time, um, I really hope Disney does the X-Men justice. I kind of feel like Fox failed the X-Men. I think they, they were turning around with um, 
first class and what was the um, one with the road cut. I haven't even watched the road cut of it. Um, Days of Future Past. Um, Age of Apocalypse and Dark Phoenix. Sorry, I was kind of disappointed with them if you like those movies. They weren't bad. I feel like the best... And it's not because I grew up with it. It's just reading the comics and everything. The most accurate and faithful incarnation of the X-Men so far is the animated series as far as adapting the X-Men. Which is pretty crazy considering it was a kid show, you know? I'm pretty sure they like um, talked about like Magneto being like a survivor of the Holocaust and stuff. And considering that show was like from a cartoon show from 1992, I mean, that's, that's pretty wild. Do I just leave? What do I, what do, I do here? Because I'm kind of over this shithole house. You know, let nature take it over. And why do you have that judgmental finger like just standing out like that? Fucking exterminate. I mean, kill everything, but. You know, I try and maybe just have to make sure they're not invading the house too much. What horrifying creature was that that went near my face? That just looks like something that's gonna hunt those roaches. It's pretty accurate how they move. Um, yeah, that thing was probably about to put a tube down my throat and impregnate me. I'm glad I killed it before it got to that point. Um, For a bootleg game and how stupid it is, I'm surprisingly enjoying myself. Would I recommend this game? Absolutely not. I think this is just, just a, um, I'm enjoying it type of thing. <laughs> what is this supposed to be drywall like great job guys great job am i supposed to go through this little cubby hole is this a door like what's going on is this a door oh we got an elevator in this house whoa you guys are flexing man i gotta make sure to times the build times two maybe square that damn thing off they can afford it. Look at this. Three kitchen tables and a grand piano. Despite its pixelation, I'm sure it was pretty expensive. <laughs> um, I'm going to stop the game here. I feel like you've pretty much seen everything there is to know about the Pest Terminator. If this is a game that appeals to you, by all means, um, try it out for yourself. Um, my favorite part of the game is this judgmental finger that he has. Like, he's like, uh-uh-uh, what are you doing in this house? I told you, I was coming back from a hammer. That was like the worst joke ever. Let me just quit this video before, like, I, I get my <laughs> channel canceled. Not because I said anything offensive, just because YouTube doesn't want anything this idiotic on their platform. All right. So uh, hopefully I'll talk to you on the next one. Take care. Bye. If you want to, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.